Hello YouTube and welcome back to the Gunpla Network. I'm the Spicer and today we're actually doing a tool review of the entry level god hands, the PN125s. Now this is all done at the courtesy of Canadian Gundam sending them our way. If you like what you see in this video, you can go ahead and head on over there. Of course, you can always use that promo code Gunpla Network at checkout for 10% off your entire order. Now, I'm just going to start this off by saying I'm not a huge tool person. Um, yeah, their music, it's all right. No, I'm just kidding. As far as tools, I've always felt if it works, it works, which is why it's taken me forever to get on to files and things like that, because I hate sandpaper. The same was applicable to nippers. I started out using like a fingernail clipper and then, you know, building into nippers, but I never really cared to jump into the god hands. Not necessarily for price, of course, that was a big factor, but I was like, what, what, what can the difference really be? And I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I have to say this little entry level set here, um, I believe they retail right now in Canadian and I'm around 12 bucks, is actually well worth the money for a couple different reasons. And we'll look at those a little more in detail with the comparisons to a couple other sets I have. But they're very easy to control, which is a very important part for a lot of people. And they're very clean cut. And what I mean by that is, you know, you're still probably gonna have to do a little nub removal, but if you aren't really into that, it's gonna look a lot cleaner than just like your traditional hobby store or Amazon set. Which is exactly what we have to compare it to. So I have two other sets of nippers that I use currently or used before this one. I have a black handled set that I got from Hobby Town, which I believe is just like their standard set. Um, it's about 12 bucks in my area. I don't know if it changes geographically, but around the same price point. And then the dark blue handle set I have actually came from Amazon and one of those model kit builder sets. Which I was like, I think it was 20 bucks. So the nippers say will make up half the cost pretty similar. Both of them are longer and not as sharp. Um, the springs are also stronger. It's, it's kind of a weird thing to note, but I do believe a softer spring is actually a little easier to handle. It's not a huge difference, but every little bit helps. And I have to say the sharpness really does help. They are a little shorter too, so they're easier to kind of get into some weird spots for older kits that maybe aren't undergated or kits that are undergated in just really weird ways. Um, as you can see in some of these comparison so shots here between all three, the god hands are a little shorter and it's significantly smaller blade wise too. And now that I'm looking at this in more detail, just the actual sheer size of them, they're smaller. Uh, that might actually help with the handling as well. But I've actually got three of the same pieces here and nipped all of them. So you can see, as you can see the Amazon set, the dark blue nippers, you can see the nub mark. Um, it, it's still not super pronounced, but you can see the white plastic stress there. The god hands are in the middle. You can make out a little bit, so you'll still once again have to file it, but it's not going to be nearly as pronounced. And the set on the far right there, the black handled set from Hobby Town, is actually pretty comparable. Um, once again, not as easy to handle, but you know, it works. So if you don't want to wait to order something. These aren't a bad alternative. Um, I personally like the God Hands, but that's just me. Now, in other real world uses, I built the entire high new with this, and I noticed that I didn't have to use the file near as much. That could just be that it's an SD, but in general, it's, you know, maybe 10 seconds, 15 seconds of um, you kind of on and off filing for most pieces and the high grades and stuff I built recently. With the SD, it was two or three swipes and it was done. It is such a cleaner cut and that, that's really what I'm attributing it to because the plastic's really not that different. So it saved a lot of time. I mean, I knocked the SD high new out in 30 minutes, if that, which I mean, it's an SD, so it's not gonna take that long, but still, being able to knock it out that much faster while you're still using the same tool, um, using the nippers in the file, it helps significantly. So if you're wanting to get a cleaner build, regardless whether or not you use files, this is a good al alternative, especially if you're just wanting to get into some better tools. 
Um, overall, I mean, it's not gonna be a game changer. It Little bits help, and the more you learn to use it, the better you'll be at it. Um, of course, taking proper care of them, oiling them a little bit here and there is not a bad idea, but in general, it's a good bang for your buck nipper. Of course, it's not blowing anything else out of the water, but if you're wanting something that's just a little bit nicer, that's going to be a little bit cleaner for around the same price point, I'd say these are the way to go. And of course, with that Canadian Gundam 10% off, every little bit helps, right? Anyway, those have been my thoughts. If you have any questions, leave them down there in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to reply. And of course, keep on building.